Hi everyone, so today I am going to talk about mediation analysis and for this I am particularly going to use this reference Applied Mediation Analysis a review and tutorial um, but there is another reference that I will mention at the end of this discussion um, for computational purposes mainly all right so before doing the um, analysis let us get familiar with the notations uh, with an example say for example um, exposure group in our example is osteoarthritis patients where we are defining exposure group as a that means a equal to 1 would be exposure group a equal to 0 would be non-exposure group or those who do not have osteoarthritis control group is basically that a equal to 0 and the, this non-arthritis patients are going to be uh, in the control group outcome is defined by y in our example outcome is cardiovascular disease or cvd and there there has been some hypothesis in the arthritis literature that arthritis patients are supposed to take pain medications to relieve their pain and especially uh, for some of those painkillers for example this NSAIDs um, they can increase the risk of cardiovascular disease so that is the hypothesis here under which we are working with and also if we are working on a observational data obviously there are some confounders that we need to adjust for say for example in our example we have confounders such as age sex bmi socioeconomic status and comorbidity so we are basically interested about the relationship between the osteoarthritis and the cardiovascular disease right this osteoarthritis and here is the cardiovascular disease so this path between the osteoarthritis and cardiovascular disease is um, something we call direct effect and the other path that goes through the insights or the pain medication or M is known as the indirect path right so when we are trying to get the effect of osteoarthritis on the cardiovascular disease we are basically talking about the total effect uh, we are not really dividing into direct or indirect we are basically talking about the total effect so how do we get the total effect to get the total effect we do not need to add adjust for the mediator simply we can run a regression where cvd is the outcome and oa is the only independent variable when we run the regression we will get a intercept term a slope term and obviously we are running this regression under the assumption that there is no confounder present right notice that in this regression we are not really at adjusting for any mediator or inside that means that um, we are basically interested about the total effect that's why we are not really addressing this mediation um, in here so whatever this b is giving us it is basically giving us the total effect of the exposure all right so we can try to do um, further analysis of how much effect goes through the painkiller or mediator variable m here or how much effect of osteoarthritis goes directly to the cardiovascular disease and um, to to divide this direct and indirect path this directed acyclic graph representation is actually very helpful um, that helps us translate uh, some of the um, relationship of interest into statistical model translations 
so using um, statistical mediation analysis what we are trying to do here is we are trying to get the direct effect from the direct path and indirect effect from the indirect path and of course there has been a long history of mediation analysis um, and um, some of the path analysis um, structural equation modeling um, started those type of mediation uh, type of thinking but in 1986 baron and kenny published a paper that basically laid out the groundwork for the mediation analysis in a psychological research so what baron and kenny said is that if you run two different regressions where y is your outcome a is the exposure and m is your mediator so this is the first regression you are running and you are running another regression without the mediator right and you are getting respective coefficients in each of these regressions so for the first regression you are getting b y a m which is the adjusted effect of the treatment on the outcome and the adjustment factor is the m variable and you are also getting c y a m which is basically the coefficient of the mediator variable in this regression and also you have this b y a which is basically the effect total effect right so total effect that we can recognize b y a uh, for the direct effect we also know this because m is going to be adjusted in this first regression so this b is our direct effect which is m adjusted right so what is our indirect effect indirect effect is going to be the difference between just these two so we are getting just these two um, subtraction to get the indirect effect all right so this is the first approach by which we can calculate our indirect effect this is known as the approach one and the second approach is basically we are running another regression where we are fitting a regression where m or the mediator is our outcome and the independent variable in that regression is the a variable and we are getting another coefficient and the multiplication of this AMA and CYAM is basically our indirect effect. And it can be shown that um, when you are running uh, a regression with continuous outcome, then these two uh, equations, this approach one and approach two will give you the same indirect effect.